In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of uh, describe how variance analysis helps managers. If we see a discussion question like this or an essay question like this, our goal is generally to expand on it. We want to write more rather than less. If we write more in an essay question, we're more likely to pick up the points that are being looked for. If we write more than what is needed, then we usually don't lose points for writing more than what is needed. The same is true for discussions. We really want to expand the topic, generally getting more points for more rather than less. So that's going to be part of our goal. Clearly, within this question, we have the component of variance analysis. So first, we want to consider what is that. We want to describe what the variance analysis is, and then we could put and we can expand on that, put it into context in terms of how it would be used, what would be the normal process that it would be used in. Now, the variance analysis typically compares actual results with budgeted results, and the budgeted results are often called standards. So the variance analysis is often broken down into standards standards that are kind of like budgeted items the standards possibly breaking down the budget a bit more into components than we may see on a budgeted uh, financial statement on a budgeted income statement whether it be a normal income statement or a compre uh, a contribution margin type of income statement the standards then breaking those down into the components more refined standards that we can then use first a word from our sponsor <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com to make comparison with the actual results. And of course, the variance then is another word for the difference. We're going to look at the difference between the standards or the budgeted numbers, what actually happened. That difference is called the variance, the change. That difference may be favorable or unfavorable. We'll typically list them as either favorable or unfavorable. And then we'll go in and we'll make changes to them as we see fit going forward. The process for the variance analysis, then if we take a step back further and expand on this more, would be something like similar to a budgeting type of process, in which case we would set the standards, set the budgeting type of numbers, set the standards, then we would run the period, actual period would go by, and, and at the end of the period, we would then know what the actual numbers are, and we could then do a comparison between the, the standard numbers, the actual numbers, that being the difference, that being the variance. We could look at those differences which are uh, relevant, which are material, and then we can uh, analyze those differences, try to see why those differences have occurred. So we're going to go through analysis of those differences and then based on that analysis we'll make new standards that we could then use to begin the process again so that's going to be this, the general process why is that helpful to managers because of course it's going to help us to zero in on the specific components that we need help with even more than a standard budget will oftentimes a standard budget often breaking out uh, differences between what we budgeted in line items on the income statement uh, through what actually happened, then we often break that down further. For example, if we're talking about the direct materials uh, and there's a, there's a change in direct materials between the budget and what actually happened, we might break that down further into its components. Its components being the change in price. Was there a difference in price or was there a difference in the quantity that was used? And that uh, more detailed variance analysis then will help us to basically go to the correct department and analyze where the specific change will be made. It really helps us to judge the organization fairly based on uh, actual data so we can actually go in and, and say, hey, this is where the issue is and, and really uh, think about how we can improve and where exactly we can improve it. Eliminate some of the uncertainty in that.